hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me on another video today i thought i would switch it up and do something a little bit different i love watching these what's in my bag videos and i love watching luxury bag reviews so i thought i would do my own little what's in my bag and a slight review of the bag that i use on a regular basis so i hope you guys enjoy this video and definitely leave your comments down below and let me know what are your thoughts on um luxury purchases this is something that i really don't talk about too much on my channel as a matter of fact i don't talk about it a lot on social media as of recently I really told myself what's wrong with sharing the things that I love to purchase for myself and um, yeah I want to know what are your thoughts on that I know you know everyone has their own financial situation and whatnot but let me know what does luxury mean to you I just have to say I am obsessed with this lip color and the formula I think I've already talked to you guys about it but it's from Armani this is their what is it called again gosh my eyes my eyes are so bad this is the lip maestro in 405 formula is bomb my lips are kind of chapped right now so i can't do anything matte but this it's like a matte but like a hydrating matte oh i love it i love it love it anyways so today i'm going to be doing a what's in my bag as well as a review on the bag that i use on a regular basis which is the ysl college bag i believe this is the smallest size and then they have a larger size uh from this one i've had mine for quite some time now i believe like two years now so yeah this is the bag that i use on a regular basis and i absolutely love this bag so before we get into the what i have inside the bag i'm going to do a quick review for any of those of you who were wondering about this bag or just thinking of purchasing a really good um everyday luxury bag the ysl college bag is definitely the one that i would recommend like i have a couple of different ones but this one is just super functional it just works with everything with every outfit and even though i have the gunmetal hardware and i wear mainly gold jewelry i find that it just blends nicely because it's not like super like silvery it's more of a gunmetal it blends really well with all of my outfits no matter what I'm wearing and I love that I can remove the this um, strap over here and just have like the handle if I want to make it a little bit more fancy so just to give you guys a bit of a close-up on that bag this is what it looks like I love the chevron pattern and you guys can see the conditions that it is in is beautiful like this is a leather bag that will definitely stand the test of time and hold up for you i'm not like super super easy going with my bags i like to buy a bag and actually use it <laughs> i don't like to super super baby it so the fact that this still looks like it's in incredible conditions is amazing so that is the front of it now obviously i have like a few little scratches on the hardware and also the strap my strap is kind of fading in terms of like the gunmetal color there i don't know if i can get it fixed i've never actually called ysl to see if like maybe you could replace the strap or get it um fixed or anything like that i have no idea and then the back of the bag does have a little pocket over here that you guys can put like little documents or something normally i just shove like receipts in here if i'm in a rush and i don't want to open my bag that's what i'll pop in here now the bag is not like the largest bag it is quite compact when you do open it up so if you are the type of person that carries a ton of stuff this might not be be a bag for you but if you're like me who just has your wallet your phone a couple of receipts some lip products maybe a hand cream this is an amazing amazing everyday bag simply because it goes with everything now they do have a couple of different colors to select from and also different hardware i know that there is gold because i was contemplating getting the gold but um i just went ahead and went with this style because i really love the way that the black and the gunmetal um hardware went with each other so it's really beautiful i also really love the nude version of this bag and also there is a more deeper brown version that is gorgeous 
but because I already own like a more deeper brown uh, bag, I didn't I didn't get that one. I just went with the black. So that's what it looks like here. And for reference, this is a crossbody bag. So the strap is pretty long and I'll put it on so you guys can kind of see. So the strap, you put it on and uh, it looks like that. It hangs right under Ooh, my camera's not gonna pick it up, but it is right at my waist, basically this bag right here. It's right at my waist. And um, yeah, it's a really, really long one. And for reference, I am five three, five three and a half. So that's where it hits me. And again, you can also take off the straps. Let me take it off for you guys to see. So it's really easy to take it off right here and then you can just carry this bag like this if you want to or just holding it like that so it just looks a little bit more chic now when you open it up it does have like that magnetic um opening and closure right here i'll show you guys right there it just kind of clips on mine still clips on pretty nicely and then inside is where you have your compartment. So there are two um, openings and then there's a zipper here in the middle where you can shove a few things. But like I said, it's very tight because of the way this bag has been sewn. Like the sides of the bag, if you guys can see that, the sides of the bag are like attached to this middle part here. So it makes it more like, tighter like i feel like if this wasn't sewn in you would have a little bit more room in this bag but um other than that you know it just depends on what you carry for me this is enough room for like an everyday bag for sure i don't really like super large bags to be totally honest but let's see what i actually have in here um to be honest i don't carry a ton of stuff with me <laughs> i really really don't uh, the most that I will have in here is probably receipts. I try to declutter my bag at least once a week because I just don't want it to get overly stuffed with with things in here. And um, yeah, that's what I do. So just going to go through the bag real quickly. I always carry a hair elastic. Always, always, no matter if my hair is a straight or curly, I always have a hair, I always have a, a hair elastic in case I want to tie my hair. So this is the last one that I popped in there. If you know me, you know I always have nail polish in my bag, especially the last nail polish color that I have on my hands. I always take it with me because my nail polish does not last. Like literally, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't last. I don't know what's wrong with my fingers, my nails, but nail polish doesn't last on me. So I always end up touching up my nail polish on the way to somewhere that I have to go because I'll be like, oh shoot, my nail polish chipped. So this is the last color that I have on. It's from um, Essie and it's the shade Secondhand First Love number 10. It's a really pretty like um, pinky tone. So I have that in there and this will change up. If I have a red, it will be a red. Depending on what I'm wearing on my nails, I will always take the nail polish with me. I have a couple of lip products, which is totally normal. I feel like every girl's bag has a bunch of lip products in there. And um, mine definitely does have quite a few, uh, only three, which is pretty surprising. So this is from Armani and I've just been loving this color here. It's in the shade 101. It's like a nudie, nudie tone. Yeah, it's like this kind of beigey pink nudie tone right there it's super super pretty hopefully the camera's picking it up so love it and it's nice and hydrating like my lips just keep being chapped like I cannot wear matte lipsticks because it just looks so bad so I have that one in there and then I have a lip balm this is from Bite Beauty I love their lip products also and it's just their a guava and lip tint tin so this little guy over here, another lip product, obviously. This is one of my favorite lip oils, like the best. If you want hydration plus a little shine on the lips, this is from Burt's Bees. It's their hydrating lip oil. They have a couple of scents. This is the sweet almond oil. So it just looks like that over there. Love, love this product. I, I use this so much and I have them all over my house, like literally all over my house. I always have this. 
Oh, the little chain. Um, I always have a hand cream in my bag or any cream. Honestly, sometimes it's not even specifically a hand cream, but I have to have some sort of cream in my bag. Sometimes I have to put cream on my kids' faces, their hands, their knees, my husband's hands. So I always carry a cream with me. This is the um, Body Shop Tea Tree In Control Hydrating Cream. And there's no reason why I put this one. It's just whatever I grab from my bathroom, I will pop it in here. So that's the one that I have in there. It changes up quite frequently. So that's what I have. I also always carry a fragrance with me. No matter where I'm going, I have some sort of like a sample or something in my bag. I don't like to carry like a full size bottle. I will take a travel size uh, of a fragrance and this one is the Minute Idem. I don't know how to say it, but it's the Fragrance du Bois in collaboration with Demi Roland. Um, I was testing out this fragrance for a couple of days, so that's why it's in my bag and I already have a full review on it if you guys want to check it out check it out really like this love the opening of this fragrance a lot like the opening is stunning oh the opening is stunning but unfortunately it doesn't really last on me that's the only thing i did leave a little comment sec uh, comment in the comment section of that video letting you guys know my update on the fragrance even though i love it i just can't justify a full-size bottle another thing that i have in here is my mask i always carry a mask because duh we're you know we're wearing masks all day every day so this is just the mask that i have over here one of them i have a ton of different ones i have a couple of receipts and i also have some paper in here the reason why i stuff this with paper is because i like to keep the shape of the bag and um it's just been in there i've never removed i never removed this paper from when i stuffed it the other day so that's just a bunch of paper that i stuffed in this section over here to give it more of a fuller look because i don't carry too much stuff with me and then this is just a um estee lauder um powder but i don't use the powder i just like the mirror so that's the reason it's in there and i really like the the little compact like the gold and the texture it's really beautiful so it's just honestly just to use the mirror if i need to check out what's going on with the face that's what i have and then last but not least i actually removed my receipts um i just have my wallet uh this is actually a more like a card holder this is my chanel card holder super super cute this is what it looks like. Um, I really like this. Like if you're looking for a good card holder, this is a beautiful one. I love the fact that it's so big. Like you can fit so many cards in here and there's still a ton of space. I have a lot of cards in there actually, but there's still a ton of space. Um, I just wish that it had like some sort of zipper to put like a few little coins in there, but it's solely just for your cards. If you guys can see here, there's like two little compartments and that's it. But I love um, the pattern that this wallet has. I like the fact that it's pebbled. And so if it gets a few little scratches or anything, it's not going to be super noticeable. My little gold has rubbed off a little bit. And I really, really don't like that Chanel's um, vintage stuff was like actual real gold. And now it's just like gold plated or like spray painted. Mm, so you got to be careful because it will rub off, especially with the um, wallets and like card holders because you're just throwing it out in your bag and stuff. So it will start to kind of rub off. So that's that's a little pet peeve that I have with Chanel. I wish that they just kept it with the 24 karat gold or even 18 karat um, because you are paying quite quite a bit of money for Chanel products anyway. So that is what I have in there. And that's pretty much what i carry in my ysl college bag again i really really love this bag and just so you guys can see it empty this is what it looks like of course i have some paper in there but this is what it looks like so you still have quite a bit of room to put a lot of things in here um it's very very nice like i said there's a zipper here you can open it up and put some items in here too. So there's quite a bit of room in here. I love that you don't have to be super, you know, fragile and cautious with this bag because it's very, very durable. Like the leather is amazing. 
um you won't get a ton of scratches super easily unless you're very you know <laughs> harsh on your bags but i just i i love this bag i definitely recommend it it's one that will probably stay in my collection i i don't see myself ever like selling this bag because i wear it so often so guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today hopefully i wasn't all over the place for some reason i'm feeling super hot that fragrance spray really went up my nose and i feel like my eyes are super red right now but <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool definitely let me know if you guys want to see more of these like luxury purchases reviews i can do a few of them for you guys leave your comments down below and i can't wait to chat with you guys in the next video ciao